Hello, Happy New Year and welcome to the EUC Show. If you haven't seen it before, where the hell have you been? Strap in for the next seven or eight minutes of EUC related news, fun and nonsense. And I'm starting this episode out of sequence because I received a comment on my last episode from Matt K. Matt K. Matka, who tells me that he systematically blocks anyone sharing the your orbsome crap. That's Bikini Girl to you and me. I'm sure he gets that I've been talking about her ironically, but he adds, you get a pass this once. So that's it. No more Bikini Girl. But I love a bit of fun. And in the spirit of the pantomime season here in the UK, an image of Bikini Girl might or might not appear in this show. If it does, stand up, point at your screen and shout, she's behind you, even if you're watching this on public transport. In fact, even better. So having said that, on with the show. Matka, I'm doing this just for you. It's News Roundup, the part of the show where I take a look at EUC headlines from around the world. First up, Kingsong sent us this Christmas card message with a photoshopped image of a festive mountain-sized S20 that looks like it could topple and crush a miniature Santa at any moment. They have added a Merry Christmas logo, some decorative snowflakes, but disturbingly I don't know what they've splashed all over the front of it. But then I spotted this behind the scenes footage of the Kingsong team working on the photo and I realised it must just be seagull crap. What a relief. Secondly, in the news in the UK was this response to the inevitable increase of PV sales at Christmas, with the police issuing warnings that riding them could be against the law. The article does appear to be fairly balanced, pointing out that scooters are a greener, sustainable and fun alternative to the use of cars. But the public response was fairly predictable, with the main reaction being, it will cost lives, ban them! As I mentioned in a previous episode, this is just PEVism. So to prove how wrong these people are, again, and hopefully this helps you to win arguments with people who might be PEVists, take a look at these statistics. Injuries and deaths from fireworks are increasing, yet we can buy them over the counter at your local supermarkets. 18 deaths in the UK in 2020. There have been 55 professional and 26 amateur fatalities in boxing. People pay to go and see that, by the way. And according to this article, updated only a few weeks ago, an average of six motorcyclists die every week in the UK. Yet somehow, PEVs are the scourge of society and must be outlawed. I find this level of ignorance and short-sightedness staggering. PEVs are perfectly safe. Having said that, I am about to show you some clips of people falling off and getting senselessly hurt, but I stand by my arguments. Now it's time for riders and sliders. Here's where I show you some footage of people showing off their skills or getting senselessly hurt. So it feels right to start with a scooter rider. And here we have this chap spreading Christmas cheer and spreading some blood over the streets of London. Ho, ho, holy mother of Mary, that is going to sting. Next up, we see Max Skater showing off an impressive garage of PEVs, with a couple of EUCs begging to be ridden, but for some inexplicable reason, he selects a scooter instead, but then elects to ride it around on one wheel, proving finally and without doubt that all scooter riders secretly wish they had an EUC. I came across this video of Les Wheeler de Assas on a tour of the beautiful area of Morvan in central France. I don't speak French very well, and I'm not sure what the hell is going on here. So for the benefit of viewers who do not speak French, let's watch that again, this time with subtitles. <laughs> Je l'ai pas fait exprès. Ah ben, ah, là, là, on est sur la qualité. Ah, là, c'est. Au de mots, c'est mouche. And here we have a photo of what looks to me like a Squid Games Santa. Imagine him creeping into your bedroom late at night. He looks like a cross between Father Christmas and the cutest of Borg. 
And finally, I couldn't go without showing you some more footage of Nadia EU Seagull. And I realise that this is rapidly becoming the Nadia EU Seagull show, but I won't apologise and I won't stop sharing amazing talent like this. When this does eventually become an Olympic sport, Nadia is going to be a pioneer and more than likely the first gold medalist. And here's the part of the show where I trawl through social media, bringing you the best and often the worst of what it has to offer. I spotted this photo of a scantily dressed rider wearing only underwear and doing tricks. Are you paying attention, Matka? Get again, clickbait, pandering to the lowest depraved desires of most EUC riders. I genuinely struggle to work out what goes on in some people's heads. The conversation must have gone along the lines of, here lads, get your camera out, I'm going to take all my clothes off and ride my EUC off a ramp. Don't be a dick, William. Put some knee pads on. Brilliant. The next guy cracked me up as he attempts to bring back Heelys as a cool parkour sport. And I want you to all realise that this is exactly what we all look like as middle-aged men when we rock up at a local skate park or a BMX track on our three grand EUC and mint around because we're scared of falling off and cracking a hip. Also, we have all found a stick like this at some time or another and thought we looked cool hopping over it. We don't, by the way. And now it's time for Readers Lives. This is the point where I read out some of the comments I've received on my recent videos. And first up is a good friend of the channel, Jason Harris, an Australian farmer who tells me that he never leaves home without his EUC. And here we see the proof as he finds any excuse to be out on his wheel. But he also puts his EUC to work around the farm, proving that there is real commercial value to having an EUC. More to the point, this proves to me that my stereotype of what I think all Australians are like is actually spot on. The only thing that would complete the image was if he had corks around his hat and was punching a kangaroo in the face while holding a Foster's without spilling it. In one of the photos, it looks like he's covered in blood. Either he's been kicking beetroots, planting bodies in the field, fighting off a zombie apocalypse, or he's fallen off his V10 at speed. Even his dog is a typical Australian dog. Look at him humiliating these sheep. And finally, thanks to Peter and Gary from Manchester who shared with me some footage of them spreading some Christmas cheer around the city centre. They told me that people loved it. They were bringing smiles to people's faces, especially the kids, and that cars and buses were honking horns. Well done, lads. So much better than this tweet. So that's it. Please do send me your clips, your comments and news items from wherever you are. Check me out on Instagram where you can send me your stuff easily. And do please hit the like button and subscribe and keep riding safely, preferably with clothes on. Happy New Year. Love you. Bye.